they'll be okay. We'll do boxes first, and um, then we'll. We, and and uh, someone else had asked about B Bubba had asked about the story about uh, Kurt or Racer, and after much arm twisting and begging him, he's a he's agreed to answer questions. But you guys have to ask questions in a minute. Not yet. Stacy will holler them out, and Kurt will answer us. So we've talked him into it. We have five boxes here. This is Petco. Petco. Petco, we love Petco. This one's Gulf Coast Pet Supplies. Huh. And this one is from, whoops, you know what? I think we're going to do the tigers first. <laughs> they're kind of squished in there, so um, they're not happy. Okay. And you know I have the names written under the tail. This one's a girl, <laughs> so not really. This one... Um, oh, she's not? Okay, let's put you over here. Here you go, just for a minute, Cyrilla. Is she? Yeah. You guys. No wonder I'm going crazy. Come on, come on. Okay, okay this one is Cyrilla, and she's one of the brown tigers. You said tiger, so we got gray buff gold and the black brown tigers we tried to shove in them I, I know we missed some though but this one is Cyrilla and the one that you might get this mixed up with sometimes is um I don't see them in there is Derby but I don't see Derby in there right now he might be in there there's so many but this one is Cyrilla she has a little bit different face. Um, just, just she's got a cute face because she's a girl. And there's her side. She's got little pokey dotties on there too. Okay. okay. Can I do this one? Is that Derby? Yeah. No, no, Derby's, Derby's solid. Well, who's that? This is Zuby. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Derby? This one's Zuby. This one has a Peverly. Peverly. And you can tell the difference here. All right, now nobody get out. Nobody get out. Come here, Peverly, real quick. Woo! Okay, Peverly's gone. Peverly says, I did not like that. This one's Zuby for exuberant, remember, has the four white paws. And Peverly has one paw on leg on the front that is all, all white. They, they're not happy with me, are you guys? Okay, I'm very, very sorry, Zuby. Zuby's no longer a happy camper. Okay, we need you, and we're going to get your, get your brother. Come on, come here, right there for just a minute. Don't you dare jump down. Don't you dare jump down. These are the two boy, boy twin gold tigers. This one here is McCallum, and this one here is Cinnabon, and they look very, very close. A lot alike. There's two ways of telling them difference. I'm going to put Cinnabon down. McKellen has a little bit longer fur, but I also made him a flat tail. So he's got, I just tip, I just clip off the uh, very tip of it just to make a flat tail so that I can quickly, quickly tell flat tail is McKellen. These guys are really nice. And then I think I got their twin sisters in here. Yep, here we go. Come on, we're getting you out. Okay. Just a minute. This is Hetty and Happy. This is Happy. This is Hetty. And they are also very, very, very close in, in looks. <laughs> None of them like being in that pen. I don't imagine why not. But... The way that I can tell at a glance again is Hattie, or Hetty has the flat tail. So they are really, really close. I don't do that very often where I give them a flat top on their tail. And the gray tiger here is Selby. Most of you guys know that one. Selby's kind of, sort of look alike as Nebraska, but Selby is 
a lighter gray. Nebraska is more of a slate gray tiger. He's a, or he's a good boy too. They're all good kitties. And come here, you two beauties. Here, watch your little toes there. Watch your little toes. Scooch over there, baby. These are tiger, tiger whites. They're brothers. Um, this one is, we've got Rizzo and um, Fozzie. And Fozzie's the boy, which is this one with the white. And Rizzo's the girl. These are sister brother. But this is what I really like about both of these. They're really not a true tiger. It's almost like an Abyssinian. Isn't that beautiful? I think she's just gorgeous. We have a lot of comments on her. And she's got the little little um, gold crown on her. But um, they're, they're just really pretty. I don't see that, that kind of a tiger mark very often. Okay, this one's a Mira. Looks a lot like a Mira cat. He's purring. They're all calming down now. They didn't like being in there. Didn't hurt to any. He's kind of got a little bit more longer hair. Boy, these two, um, this one and Adora, uh, both of them sisters, have really filled out a lot. And you are. This is a girl. This is Noble. This is one of Jody's uh, three little kitties. This is the only one that's a solid tiger. Little girl Noble. I know we missed a few, but I think we did pretty darn good for gathering them up that quick. So this one's Noble. Okay, now let's put CJ. And while we're at it, I'll show you CJ real quick. CJ has been moved. We took her out of... Um, the silver pen and put her in um, where who oh, wants to see Tasco and KW oh yeah I love them too um, we put we took CJ out of the silver pen Dodgers pen and put in Patience's pen just a little shy you know when we hold her and love on her like this she purrs and purrs but when she's down it's like you know she's a little unsure of herself so we brought her here where she's front and center with everybody. So CJ's going to watch us tonight. And, you know, remember when she came in, she was just a baby bones. She's she's definitely filling out, and we'll weigh her on Monday. Here's Kurt. Here's Kurt. I call him Curtie Williams. This is one of, one of my faves. Oh, Wiggles. This is Wiggles. Tiger White, though, not Solid Tiger. Who hasn't he grown? He's, he's really fun. He thinks he's big old King Kong around here. But Kurt William is doing real good. We've still got his collar on. He's gone through probably, I don't know, four or five of these. I just keep making them. And he does real well. As long as that's on, he doesn't bother it. This is a cool cat. He needs a wonderful home. Okay, KW. And I... And Yuki, we'll look for Tasco, see if we can find Tasco. Okay, we just kind of jumped ahead of the boxes because they didn't like being in there. Okay, so now we'll get started. So these are, none of these are Amazon boxes, which is very interesting. We should probably do these three Petco ones together. Wow, I can't cut either. Remember how teeny tiny Tweenie was when she came in? There's Tweenie now. Isn't she beautiful? She is She is just a stunning torty, I think. She's beautiful. Here we got paperwork. We love paperwork. Let's see what it says. It says, Jackie, uh, to help Bella get her appetite back and to share with any of the other kitties who need a special treat. My girls like it best if I chop it up a little with kitchen, or er, with kitchen from Marilyn and her fur kids in New Jersey. Uh, Madison Pepper. Oh, with the kitchen shears. They, they um, chopped it up there a little so they can lap it up. And this is from Marilyn and her fur kids in New Jersey. And her cam name is Madison Pepper. So let's see what we have. Oh, yeah. I think 
Let me check and make sure. I... Yeah. You know who we really have to keep these away from? Yep. Octavia. Remember the other night when... Um, I'm going to leave them in here and just take out a few at a time. Remember the other night when Ohio Peepers and Love My Pets and Jim was so kind enough to go clear back through town on the other side of town and get a few of these for Bella when she wasn't eating very good and that that um, Octavia she got in it during the night and well you guys are the ones that told me she they were all gone but like three and so those three I put in the white cabinet I was really busy didn't lock it she got in and got those other three but I salvaged two of them it's like, oh my gosh, she was just a stinker. Yeah, Bella does like these. And, and um, Twinkle loves these, and Putter also does too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh, no, no. Octavia will get a whiff of these, and we'll have to put traps on them or something. Hey, I'm going to leave these in the box, in the cupboard, and pull out a couple at a time. Yeah, thank you so much for these. Yeah, Madison Pepper in um, New Jersey. We're, Pat, I'm going to stick these in here if you keep the oldsters. They really like these. Or Bella really likes those as well. Cool. Okay, and we got a kitty. We got a tweeny kitty. <laughs> We've got two more. I'm wondering if these are also from her and her fur kitty. Wow, we hit the jackpot on these. This is another one. Same thing from Madison Pepper and her kitty. This one is uh, white meat chicken and shredded beef. Yeah, I just, when I walked out here that morning and saw all those little white plastic tubs, it's like, oh no, because these are not cheap. We'll put a two. We'll put two of each of these up there for the special meals coming up tomorrow morning or tonight. We just gotta remember to lock it. Yeah. Yep. We're talking about Octavia. So that's three flavors. Oh, wow. Same ones, yeah. Yep, these are great. They're all, they're all different flavors, but there's two. There's two of these. There's ten, ten trays in each one. Thank you. This is like a gold mine. Yeah, the kitties, the kitties love these. Are you okay? Yeah. Honey, don't hurt yourself. How about in the closet there, Connie? So they stay safe, but oh, be careful. Connie's here and she's got a bum arm and still wants to help. Hmm. Let's do this one. This is Click and Ship from Ashley D. in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Better, better cut that out. Sometimes I think, oh, I'll remember that. And then good old Kitty Cam, she's, she helps me keep on track. Reminds me of some of the things I've forgotten, which I dearly appreciate. Kitty. Oh, I like these letters. Or these notes. Oh, it is a real letter. Aww. This is from Boots. Oh, this is from Carolina Ash. Oh, look at that beautiful cat. Now, that's a big cat. I like big cats. That's beautiful. Let's see what she says, guys. We better put Carolina Ash on here. 
It says, Dear Jackie, I would like to personally thank you and the center volunteers for all the hard work you do for my species. Enclosed, oh, this is from Boots. This is her kitty. That's, that's who the kitty's name is, Boots. Enclosed in this box are some tokens of my affection. Some I know are good, some I have not tried yet. I have had my human label, the ones I wish to be reserved for someone specific. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I hope all enjoy. Please give Queen Bella my regards and a headbutt. I will do that. Also to Sheriff Putter, a scratch under the chin. Yes, Siri will do that too. He reminds me of my old housemate, Lucky, a Himalayan, also with similar, similar coloring. Unfortunately, Lucky passed in 2001 from cancer at the age of 13. Uh, he also liked chin scratches, as well as mutual baths and snuggling together. Aw, that was your friend. Again, thank you for all that you do. You will be hearing from me again. Happy Halloween. Sincerely, Boots Dickerson and, his, and, and her human, Ashley, who is our Carolina Ash friend. Aw, so let's see what we got. Oh, I see the best one in here. The best treat of all. And it's got my name on it. That means I get to take it in the house. Yay. Aw, look at this. These are Bellas. We'll put these in our room for her. Those are Bellas. She does like that. Oh, and the Animal Planet Penguin catnip. We, we uh, lost a few. Well, we... Lost more than a few toys this week. Oh my word, these cats, they're just monsters when it comes to playing. But that's what toys are for. That's what we have them for. Um, and yes, it smells like cat nip. There you go, Happy. There you go, Happy. And there's some Mile 9. This is a uh, tuna with shrimp. Oh, I might save these for breakfast in the morning. I always like to mix up extra scrumptious meals. Thank you. Thank you so much, Boots and Carolina Ash. Hey, Connie, could you write this on here? Could you write whiskers and tuna? And um, these are treats. And Bella food. And we won't tell anybody about the Reese's Pieces, so... Nobody knows. We keep something secret. Here, let's put these in there. Yeah, let's put these in there. And those are going to be for breakfast. These we'll put in for you for And those we're going to just put right around the corner. Are you not ready? <laughs> Does somebody need a small box here? And a toy. And a toy. Thank you, Boots and Carolina Ash. Very much appreciate that. We'll put Boots' picture up to it. And then a food and a toy. Um, yeah. And, uh huh. That's it. Are you left handed too? Oh, gosh. This one is, this is the Golf Coast Pet Supply one. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it okay? Uh, oh, oh, this is the Bonita Flakes. Um, if my memory was better, I don't have it up there anymore. Um, I know this was sent from someone that we opened up boxes, I think, yesterday or day before. And they had also sent for the Bonita Flakes, but it was shipped separately. If you can maybe pass it on to the webcam, Stacy could let me know. Um, but Bonito Flakes, maybe we could just get right there. Yeah, and then I'll find out. Okay, thank you. You know, um, I'm surprised that just even doing this doesn't bring Octavia. She's just absolutely mad about that stuff. She's a nut, and I've been giving it to them in the mornings a little bit and in the evenings, too. They love it. So... We'll figure out who did that or let them know on the cam and so we can tell you thank you for that. Um, was this? That was yesterday's stuff. I'll keep that with that. Uh, oh, 
Oh, yes. Nick 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 Ross, I know I didn't pronounce that right, and she's going to visit us on Saturday, so I'm I'm really really the needle place. I'm really happy about that. Looking forward to having you here. Um, so we have an update on Bella, and then we'll get to your questions. And um, Bella is doing really really good. She's um, she's just doing great. She's doing great. We don't ha even have to use her collars too often. Nighttime's her biggest time to pull those out, so or, or mess with them. So, in those, and we've got all three of those collars now: the cone collar, the stiff one that goes around, and then the one that you blow up. And she also has her bed in there. The bed that was sent, that's that real thick foam. It's very thick. I think it's 22 ml um, uh, plastic that's on the outside. It's very durable. And that goes on top of her favorite bed, which makes her very, very happy. She's doing good, and as you probably all know, she's got uh, her three kitties in there. And that would be Weasley, um, what, what is going on in the, in the orange box in there? has a little cold. We had to look because they're all clustered around Bella. Um, they're doing they're doing really great. Weasley does have a little bit of a cold and CJ asked if something was wrong with Weasley because he cries so much. You know, like in there when he's when they're all in there by themselves, um, they're just fine. Dulcie's happy. They're, they're just a happy group. But Weasley is really in tune to people so when he was crying just a little bit ago was when Connie went in. And he would be happy out here, but uh, what he does is he just follows you right on your heels. And he's so wee little, and he did get stepped on yesterday a little bit. He's got just a tiny bit of a cold, so he's got to stay in Bella's room. Right now, is he on top of Bella right now? He's halfway on top of Bella. He's perfectly content with Bella. I think he just is a little insecure little fella and just needs that closeness, whether it's Bella or the other kitties or one of us human beings that he loves too. Um, see like right there the door was going to go open and he knows it. So humans are way at the top of the line and then Bella's right underneath and then his other friends in there too. He's so darn cute. Washer and the dryer. Oh my gosh this was really awesome. So you all know about the gift cards from our Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous people. I'm still like, how on earth did this happen? I, it just tickles me to no end. So Steve went with me, and we went to Lowe's, and we looked at all of them, and I was bound and determined this had to be a very, very good quality washer because we've spent way too much money over the years on washer and dryers that don't last very long. We're always led to believe that they're going to be great, but they haven't. These are commercial-grade um, washers and dryers. So... A uh, webcam friend had emailed me and said, stop in the post office and get the moving packet. And inside there would be a uh, coupon for 10% off of uh, one purchase from Lowe's. So Steve and I stopped there, ran in and got it. Sure enough, there was a Lowe's 10% off. So we went into, into Lowe's. We looked at them all, talked. I asked about a million, zillion questions. The lady was so patient and really did know her washers and dryers. And so we settled on a Maytag, and uh, it's going to be, they are both washer and dryers going to be here Saturday morning. But get this, um, the washer was $8.99. Um, <laughs> no, they're white. I, I was teasingly saying this morning, because we like colors here, I love colors that I was going to get a red one and Stacy was going to leave if, if, leave me if, she, if I did but it's white it's white so the washer was $8.99 with our 10% off it was $8.09 the, the dryer was $8.09 and with the discount the 10% it was $7.28 and then we did go ahead and get a an extra four year guarantee on it and this is part um, service, anything and everything. And boy, did I ask a whole bunch of questions on that because I've been burned before on warranties. 
And the fella, one of the fellas that they have that um, is a repair guy for them is Nick, who we love him as a repair guy. So we can always call Nick. He's very good about um, warranties and all. So the, if we did not have that 10% off, the bill was going to be 18.98, and we are no tax, so there's no tax added to that. So the gift cards added up to um, 1,700, and it turned out to it came to 1717. Isn't that awesome? Down to 17 bucks. But the other wonderful thing is Sigrid and Rodney. Sigrid is one of our volunteers, and Rodney O is from Venezuela. They had each donated 200. They, oh no, they had each donated 100. dollars Gave us 200, and Linda T gave us a gift card for 10. So that extra 210, um, I had put it on the Facebook, and I've already heard back from Sigrid. If that's okay, we would use that. Um, for our many, many needs that we have at Lowe's. So we'd like to do it that way. I just I just thought that was awesome how that came out to almost the penny of all the things. Where in the world is Patty? Well, first off, of course, Patty was here, Defiance, Ohio. We, sh we shipped over to Severin in London, and then, Lond and then Severin just sent to Little Cass in Scotland. So that's where Patty is right now. We're super excited to see where what the picture is going to be. So on the map that I have in the office there, the blue pins represent where Patty is. And I'm going to tomorrow take a, a thread and put it on the Defiance, Ohio one, take it up there to London, twirl it around that pin, and then take it over to London, or er, to uh, Scotland. And then each time Patty goes somewhere, we'll keep zigzagging across the map and keep track of where that is. And I have been putting pins in of the other multicolors to represent countries and states that I know are current listeners. I know I'm missing some, and I'm trying to catch up with that. But it's, it's really cool because the United States is really peppered, and, uh, and we've got quite a few of the countries on there, too. Um, Pat is our volunteer tonight. This morning it was Connie, uh, Connie G. and uh, Donna. And uh, this, today's Thursday. This afternoon was Peggy S. So those are our volunteers today. Burka, as many of you know, is the black and white kitty that just flies out of nowhere and lands on everybody's shoulders. She, Pat was over there at the sink a little while ago, and Burka dropped from the catwalk way up above, flop right down on poor Pat. So she's a wonderful cat. Our floor is going to, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, that it's going to get started on um, Tuesday. So Monday is going to be crazy. We're going to the Kurtz office out there. We're going to bring the table and chairs that Ohio Peepers and um, Love My Pets donated and Kurtz desk and chair at the back side of the section over there, and then the cages that's in Thumper's room, the silver one is going to be unassembled or disassembled, if that's the right word, and then the cat condo is going to come in here too. We don't want that wet, and we've been really rainy, and then the bathroom will be a cinch. That office is going to be a bear to do because there's a ton of furniture in there. Uh, the silver pen I talked, Dodger's pen I talked to, uh, Paul about that. We don't have to take that apart. We can wheel that out. It's going to go underneath the awning uh, under the window from Cat's Corner Room or Kitty Campus Room and he'll cover that in tarp. But all that furniture we're probably going to take out of there and just put here. Stacy's going to go crazy that, that day on Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, what? What? <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, I think we get to move everything back. So next week's going to be crazy. Volunteers will have to come in the front door probably for you too Thursday night. Because oh. both of the entrances to the rescue center are going to be shut down. So we'll have to watch for visitors coming in. But everybody has to go through the house to come out here. This area will be fine. We just got to get people from driveway to the front door, which we never use to be in out here. So, um, and then, then another update on Putter is he's got his wrap off. Yesterday he had a real pretty blue wrap on his tail. 
Today he had a black one off. Um, we took that off, and his boo boo on there. It was it was like this. We're not sure if he was kind of going under something or what, or got it caught. But he's got a dandy laceration. It's about that bit long, but it's very narrow, so uh, it looks a lot better. And today when we took off his his wrap, put him over here. I'm telling you, he went around and whacked quite a few kitties. We're going to before Kurt. Um, has other things to do. Who asked? Who asked? Who asked? Um, I have it on here somewhere. I can't find it. Somebody asked about Kurt if he would would tell uh, how he got here and his his story. I tried to do it the other day, but I know I botched it up a little bit. So, any questions you want Kurt to answer? If you want to pop it on the the uh, chat and Stacy will relay it out to us. But Kurt, if I remember right, it was October when you first came. Um, I think it was first day, yeah. And then you stayed. Um, well, I think I was supposed to stay two days and I ended up staying about four. Yep. And that's just sort of extrapolated to every time. Hey, uh, oh. What? Robert. Which part? I love it. I, well, I think the first time I did it was in October. I stayed three or four days. Mm -hmm. It was um, going to be one day. Yeah, mostly just uh, looking at fixing the cam, the old cam, and taking pictures. And, and it, is that when you you already had your Flickr account already set, right? Yeah, I had a Flickr account for a couple of years before. Okay. How many pictures you got on Flickr now? Do you know of um, FFRC stuff? Um, well, I know I've taken probably about 12,000. Um, my camera's at 16,000 total pictures now, and most of those are from here. On Flickr itself, I probably got about, I don't know, I guess it would be 2,000. Wow, that's a lot. Any other safety? Um, how are your kids doing? Aww. Uh, they're good, I guess. They're, they're spoiled rotten. Yeah. The kitties are spoiled rotten. They're demanding. When, when Kurt got home yesterday, I'm telling you, they were all over him, and when he was gone, you were gone Sunday to Thursday, was it? The first couple of days, you know, they didn't come down. They stay up in his, his the two bedrooms upstairs most of the time. About the third day, they start coming down like, where is he? And then they started being on my lap and things. And once Kurt came, I, I don't think I've hardly seen them since then. They're back to being his boys. Okay. This is Mother Dog to Cat. <laughs> what? Which is smarter, dogs or cats? If you go by a cranial capacity to body weight ratio, <laughs> dogs actually are slightly more intelligent. <laughs> Wait, um, would we expect no other answer than this from Kurt? Will you take your hat off and smile? No. <laughs> Will you do it anyway? No. How did you find FFRC? Um, on Eastern, back when I had the old can. I was bored and I was looking for something to watch and I didn't like the puppies. <laughs> so I went to look for cats. So puppies lost, we got them. Yeah. And then. What? What kind of camera do you use for the web It's a quick cam orbit uh, AF. Um, it's any webcam would work. It's not even sending at it its maximum uh, resolution. A lot of it is in the tweaking and the software that we use, which is why we get a good clear stream. We're using the uh, Adobe Live Media Stream software instead of using the web page or the uh, Ustream producer software. He knows it all. You know, it's a good... <laughs> you see? He's got a lot of questions. Are you sure this is a question twice? Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, Who I is do. It? Who is it? Stacy. Yeah. This has been fun watching this. <laughs> what other things would you like done at FFRC? What other things does he like to do at FFRC? Well, what other things would you like to do at um, I'd love to have the time to learn um, programmable microcontrollers to set up a servo with a web interface for the camera, but... What does that mean? It'll let you move the cam from the web. You can get a micro... You, mean? you can get a, micro, a, a programmable microcontroller board. Hook it up to servos and, and use the 
uh, application interface that they provide to write software to move it around via the web. But You're talking to move that camera around? Yeah, but I don't have time for that kind of stuff. But that would be fun. The other thing is I want to uh, redo the uh, computer. To get, I want to get a new dedicated computer just for the webcam. I'm hoping, I'm looking at doing a, a touchscreen computer um, so that it can be mounted on the wall right below the cam so that you can see Wouldn't that be cool? what's going on. You can control it right there from the touchscreen. From here, it would all be done. You mean like It would basically replace the TV because you could use it as a as a TV as well. You mean so like like when we have to adjust anything, the lights or the yeah, it would be up done right and there down? It. Well, that would be nice. But as it is now, we have to run in there all the time. Cool. What kind of beer do you like? What? What kind of beer do you like? Beer? Yes. Um, well, my absolute favorite is uh, Triple Grimbergen. It's a uh, Trappist ale from Belgium, but it's very hard to find. <laughs> what is it? Triple Grimbergen. The middle name. Oh. William? Because that's why Kurt William is named Kurt yeah. William. Um, what kind of school did you have? Um, I went to Ohio State for two years. Uh, I majored in math, physics, and astronomy. It was in the honors program. Then I found that computers were much more lucrative, so I dropped out to do that. And you were also in the service? I was in the Army Reserve. Yes. I went to the John F. Kennedy School of Special Warfare for psychological operations. What's your favorite, favorite cat out here? Out here? Yeah. Or one of your favorite cats? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could pick any absolute favorites. He's very good with all of them. They all love him. Yeah, I can't really single anyone out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them. What? 145. And his mom and dad's on most evenings? My mom is. Your mom is? Anything else? 11 and a half. My shoe size? <laughs> Yes, I have four sisters and a brother. Um, <laughs> you should see his workshop. Nine. I've got lots of them strewn about. <laughs> what? Cams? Um, It's it's it would be possible, <coughs> maybe in the future. Aren't we lucky to have him? What? My GPA in high school, one point eight. What's my sign? No BS. <laughs> uh, I do own one. Yes. It's plaid. <laughs> that cracks me up. How do you feel about full moon food and their effect on people? Uh, what was that? Full moon and their effect on people. Oh. Mm -hmm. What effect? If the full moon has an no, effect. No, I mean, there is no effect. Oh, there, there you go. What kind of car do you have? Um, <laughs> well, I drive my dad's truck. It's a, uh, uh, what is it? I think you know, I don't. Yeah, that's it. What is it? It's kind of got four wheels and a stuff in the back where you can put it. And them. drives. Yeah. That's a steering wheel. Um, are you a fourth or not? No. Why don't you believe in ghosts? Don't you believe in what? 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 Why don't you believe in ghosts? For some ghosts? reason, I don't believe in Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. How old are you? I already answered that. Like a week ago. He's 39, almost 40 yeah, in January. 39 going on 14. Yeah, going on 14. True. We good? That it? See, that wasn't so bad, was it? That was excruciatingly horrible. That was excruciatingly horrible. Oh, thank you for doing that. I know that was hard. We had to, we had to beg him to do that. Thank you, Kurt. We're very, this rescue center is really, really fortunate to to have Kurt here with us. Um, back on track. Yuki's paw, much better. We only had to do a foot soap one time today. 
wrapped it up. Um, it's doing a whole lot better. It's getting smaller every day. That thing, you know, where you bend your paw, this is where the biggest laceration is. And then these pads and then one up here. It was a big, big boo-boo for a little baby. Uh, oh, Calico and Wildfire asked about a new baby. Um, we did get a new baby in this afternoon. I forget sometimes the audio is on. I usually don't like to bring up new babies until we test them, as you guys know. Because we do get positives here every once in a while. This baby isn't new to, or isn't isn't um, tested yet. We'll do that in the morning. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a nice little kitty, a cute little kitty. Uh, little Chop asked about how Bella is. I think we did that earlier, but she's awesome. Tommy asked about the details on the washer and dryer. I think we did that. Oh, Misha Scotty asked to see Weasley. Honey, you want to show him Weasley? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Connie was holding him up close, and now, yeah, that's what he wants. Do you want me to just show him real quick? Oh, oh. just a minute. Just a minute. She's going to be right there for you. Just a minute. Right there's Weasley. Oh, I know. All he wants is to be close. No, Bella gets to crying when that one gets to cry. Yeah, they love each other. You know, Connie, he's kind of lost a little weight yesterday, I think, so let me give you some... He did chow down. Did he did good, good. Oh, yes. Today's been a real good day for him. Mm -hmm. We've been just kind of boostering him a little bit. Oh, he's trying to get the protein off my finger. <laughs> <laughs> but I want it rare. There you go, Connie. Thank you. There, Weasley. Um, you now ask where Badu came from. And Calico asked if Badu's been behaving today. Badu came from, let me get this straight, she originally belonged to a young lady who had to move out of state, couldn't take her with her, gave her to her parents who really didn't want any more cats in the house, so they put her in a barn. It was a, it was a nice barn, they kept telling me, um, in a stall, and... Um, you know, if I if I remember right too, Badu had uh, not a sibling but a family cat friend that went somewhere else. I'm, I don't remember where that one went to. It wasn't here, and um, so then we got her. She she they actually kept her pretty clean for being in a stall. She really was. Uh, they told me that she's a rag doll. I was talking about this to, with one of the uh, on the email today with someone. I you know I really don't. I really personally don't think that she's a real full-blooded rag doll. I just don't think it's all there for her on that. Um, but she, I, I feel like sometimes people think that she's like this all the time. She's not. She really does have a good side. You just have to read her when you're petting her, when you're doing anything. You just got to read her body signals of what, how her mood is. And she's been really good today. So thank you, Calico Meow, for asking. Um, she's such a beauty girl. Oh, and, and on that note that I told you guys now the last few nights that um, Mitty's family has gotten back in touch with me, and they are, yes, for sure, interested in another cat. I have talked to them about Badu. They know who Badu is, and I'm going to think about it maybe for a day or two, and if, we, if I decide that maybe Badu might work for them, I think that they will be willing to have Badu come over into their home. It's only Mitty. There's no little kids around. It's a quiet home. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm bad on get, at guessing ages, maybe 50, 60-year-old uh, folks. Uh, but I think that that might work, and we might try that. We're just going to think about it for a day or two. Carolina Ash asked how Steve is. He's got his brace on, doesn't like it. It's very hard to bend. Um, I don't know how he's going to do. He goes back to work next week. A week from tomorrow, we should hear back from the workman's comp as to yay or nay on um, what if they're going to or if they're going to do this for Steve. So we don't know yet, but we're hoping we're hoping. So he this it needs to be done. What needs, happened to Steve? Steve's um, fake knee that he has has shifted. I didn't know he had a fake knee. <clears throat> His left one. He's got a lot of trouble in his calf, but the the knee replacement isn't where it's supposed to be anymore. Ooh. It's not good. 
Little chap asked how my mom and dad were. Um, I took mom to get her hair done today. Dad had really a cool day today. I was so tickled. My mom and dad are from Evansport, and it's a dinky little town. If you blink, it's gone. And the one... Can you get him? Okay. Okay, okay. good. The one um, hospice lady who comes out to watch dad while I take mom on Thursdays, she is from, her daughter's from Ayersville, and they have this really wonderful book that's all about the Evansport history, which dad and mom just love that little town. So dad, even though he doesn't see very good, he was looking at the pictures and really enjoying that. That just meant a lot to me to see my dad enjoying that. That was pretty cool. Uh, tail. We talked about Putter's tail. The pink notes on the tree says, don't lean on the branches. They were coming off too fast. Old Gray Mary. Mm, old Gray Mary. I, don't think that's, oh, I think that's close. I know, I think you're connected with Silly Sticks, if I remember. Oh, my, my memory. Um, asked about Jazzy's barking. Jazzy was barking because Connie's here. What? Jazzy loves Connie, and Jazzy knows Connie usually brings her snacks. So she was telling Connie, please hurry and bring my snacks over to her. Kit Kat asked, what's the Pfizer low? Um, our food is sitting pretty good right now, but, you know, we go through two and a half cases minimum of food a day. It's closer to three. We always... Um, Paper towels are always low. Toilet paper we share out here with them is always low. Um, kitty treats, we, we do use a lot of kitty treats. Our litter, I never ever can keep up with our litter, but that's so heavy. Um, uh, Mr. Clean, is that his name, Mr. Clean? What's that other one, Life, Life or Mr. Clean it is. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of those. The Clorox dis disinfecting wipes we use a lot of. Just, you know, you guys are awesome. I, I don't know how you guys could help us any more than what you do. You guys are, oh, you guys are way, way, it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's just amazing. That's one thing my dad always asks me every time I go. I try to go out there every day or at least every other day. He always asks me, did you get any boxes today? And he likes to hear what has come. And he and my mom just think it's amazing. They, they, I've shown a, a long time ago when mom and dad were able to come here more often, I showed them the computer, and they just think that's really cool, really neat. Um, our Iowa, we do have a push pin in Iowa, yes. And then we have the, about the Kurt. So I think, and I, I have to address this last thing, which I purposely saved for last. Um, Cabana, uh, you guys have asked me yesterday, and I kind of avoided it. And tonight you've asked me about Cabana. So um, we Cabana is not here any, any longer. Uh, you... And I'm really sorry. I usually keep you guys abreast on everything. Sometimes they're extra hard to pass on the information. And um, I just I just never I just never like to pass on bad news, but I do try to keep you guys abreast. We did have to put Cabana to sleep. Um, you recall that she had come in with bite wounds on her and we always do a leukemia and a heartworm and an FIV test when they come in first was negative, but um, because of the bite wound, it always makes me worry about that second test. And uh, I did her test again. I did it about three weeks, or I did it into the third week. I did it about a week early because I noticed that she was not eating as well. She was hiding more. She was staying back there in Kitty Campus room, kind of withdrawn, and her third eyelids were up, and you could just tell she wasn't feeling good. And that went on for a few days. So uh, we jumped ahead of it one week and did her, her leukemia test early, and it was positive. And uh, so um, we did put her to sleep. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you when that happened. That was last week one day. And um, I'm sorry I avoided that question. It's just sometimes hard to pass on those things. Um, I'm still glad she was here because if she wasn't here, she probably would have still been outside. And... 
to die of leukemia when it's active like that, it was obvious that she wasn't feeling good. And once that kicks in, you know, that leukemia can stay dormant in them and just kind of, it can just be a carrier and never really be symptomatic of it. But when they start showing the symptoms, they don't feel good. And dying of leukemia is not a fun way to die. It's not a not an easy way. So um, I'm glad that she was here so that she didn't have to be out there alone. Her tummy was full. She, she uh, was loved. And so... Um, so I appreciate you guys asking, and I appreciate your understanding about how that leukemia business works. You know, it used to be years and years ago. We've been doing this for 10 or 11 years, somewhere in there. On, and when we first started doing this, we only did straight leukemias. And then it wasn't long before we started doing, we, we knew we had to improve our quality of what we do here. And that's when we started doing the leukemia and the FIVs. And then a few years ago, they kicked in the heartworm, which is an entirely different kind of thing. I mean, it's still heartworm like dogs, but the way the prognosis is is completely different for a cat. But um, we do all three of those. And then it was a couple years after we started, or I think a year after we started doing the triple test, that we had a couple calls from people who had adopted from us and their kitties, lo and behold, had come down with leukemia. That's when we were only testing once. I talked it over with, with our vets at that time and they said, you know, it's sometimes that we know that sometimes that happens because when a cat gets leukemia and let's say when they just come in, they just got it from another cat, whether it's from a sneeze or sharing the water bowls. Leukemia is fairly easy to pass along or a bite. The antibodies in them isn't, hasn't been in them long enough to show up on the test. It's like if you were with somebody today with strep and you were tested tomorrow, it's not going to show up yet. It takes a little while for that to grow enough in the body for the antibodies to show up in the test. So we could have all these negatives, but we weren't positive they were going to stay negative because of those factors so we and we had that incident I think I talked to you guys about that one time where we had a couple positives and we tested we ended up testing all of our kitties that was a huge big expense but we did it and we ended up with I think it was like five or six positives that were in here and then we retested later and they were still positive so our decision at that time was all cats have to be tested again um, I know it's a big expense. Our vets say, you know, do you really have to do that? But I personally, in my heart, know, yes, we have to do that. And the other thing that um, we also kick in is the leukemia vaccines. All these cats have leukemia vaccines to protect them, just in this case, like with Cabana, so that these kitties are protected. If we didn't do that, I would be so worried about what Cabana might have spread. But one, she didn't bite. Two, she was secluded. She did keep herself far away from the other kitties. So it's not like she had a big chance of spreading it. Um, so we do do the leukemias here. But when these kitties and cats are adopted, we always tell them, per, per the advice of our vets, that once they leave here, we don't advise doing leukemia vaccines again because um, and we tell this to all adoptive people. When they're here, when they're here, there's a need for it. But when they go into their new homes, our cats we know are negative. The cats in their homes, where these cats go into homes with other cats, they have to be tested, and we know that they're negative. And we check on that. We don't want cats going in and out, in and out, because anybody that was out, let's say four weeks ago, and comes in and was bitten four weeks ago, and then comes in the home with these indoor cats, has the possibility then of spreading it to the indoor cats and our cats are never to be left outdoors so there is no source for leukemia so after our cats leave here we don't advise doing the leukemia vaccines anymore because the risk of getting that's one vaccine that has a slight risk of causing cancer at the injection site so the the risk of getting those problems with that injection is higher than way higher than the risk of getting leukemia so I don't know how I got sidetracked with all of that part, but that's that's kind of like our history or 
how, how we feel about leukemia and all. So I'm really sorry um, about not letting you know sooner about Cabana. It, it's sometimes hard. Um, so thank you for being here. Am I going to go through, Pat? Oh, i got to get this one over here. Oh, someone had fun with toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs>